Emergency responders have a challenging job. Situations like the carbon monoxide poisoning in Blanchard, North Dakota, can be hard for firefighters, emergency personnel, and police. A first responder we talked to said rural areas depend on volunteers, and some calls hit them and their community hard. Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop spoke with a rural volunteer about why they do what they do. First responder Randy Moen says he enjoys being a volunteer at Hunter Ambulance Service. It gives you a sense of accomplishment, like you actually did something, you helped people. Moen says it can be hard in an emotional job, especially if your patient dies. Oh, I hate to say that you would harden yourself to it because you never do, but you just know those are going to happen once in a while. And that's probably why we're here, because those families need help. Moen explains that this job can be a struggle. You see a lot of bad, but you can also see a lot of good. He explains that it is well worth it when you can save someone's life. Another gal, Donna, and I were on a run in Gardner, premature childbirth, and Mark Richmeyer was with, and we were doing CPR on this pound and a half baby and never expected to live. Well, we got a Christmas card from her. Cutest little, the best run I've ever been on. Cutest little kid. Moen says although many volunteer, EMS, and fire departments need help with money, becoming a member is just as important and something more hard to come by. I get nothing but uh, praise for the people in our community that are on it. They, uh, they do a super job. Hartwig is a former volunteer spending 22 years as a firefighter and EMS. Hartwig says he stepped down after becoming burned out from the tragic calls. He adds rural volunteers respond to people that you know, which can make the job tougher. I'm here to know everybody around, you know, you know, and you've grown up with a lot of them. So. In Hunter, North Dakota, Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live. If you're interested in learning more about becoming an emergency responder, contact your local fire department or ambulance service. It's been another 